Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Up here on top of the base today, we're going to be testing out some of the uh, extinction specific items. In particular, the delivery crate. So I have finished a little bit of the base since the last video. I went ahead and put the roof on. Finished up the sides and stuff. There's been quite a few dinos that stroll through here. Something else that's kind of weird is there's like water right here. It's like invisible water. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I couldn't land the bird and stuff, so I just put a little platform out here. But I'll show you what I have going on in here. Close these doors. Man, I had a beaver just come strolling in here earlier. So we got the gotcha set up. I got him a little saddle made so I could get him positioned in. Unfortunately, I was wanting to put him right in front of the glass, but I'd have to build the whole thing up one more high. And it's, it's totally not worth it. Went ahead and did some renovating. I know, I know, we just built the place, but I forgot to install some water lines. So all these have under underground uh, water lines, and they are all irrigated. So it's not too bad. We have us a couple crop plots. That's the, the weird fruits and stuff like that. And then over here is going to be some uh, the purple berries and some narcos. So we're set up pretty well right now for fruits and gardening. They should all be getting the greenhouse effect too here, I think. Yeah, 300%. So it's not too bad. I have been gathering some metal. We should be okay for a few minutes. The thing that we're going to be missing is obsidian. So uh, the main place on the map, it's way over there by the by the uh, snow biome that way. There's some really, really good nodes for obsidian and metal and stuff like that. And that's where I went to get my metal at. They're up roughly around 20, 60 on the map. But it's a long, you know, a long flight there and back. So we're going to be making one of the delivery crates. Show you right here. So this right here. So all we need is a gas bag bladder, thatch wood, and fiber. And then we're going to need a GPS. So let's steal a little bit of gas out of here. And then, what do we need for GPS? I know they're not expensive. A little bit of polymer and electronics. All of that we have. Take some of those. And then the polymer. I should have some regular polymer. Yeah. Might as well just put all that into the fabricator. One GPS coming up. Alright, so we're going to put that... Let's move some stuff around here. I need to fill my canteen back up. We're going to put GPS there. There we go. And everything's like I normally have it. Let's grab some water real quick. Make sure nothing's out here. I really want to expand out here some. I'm just not exactly sure what I want to do. I want to put a tech transmitter out here for sure. But we need to get the replicator first. And for the replicator, we're still missing polymer. And I am not farming 800 of the corrupted nodules because we need some we need some obsidian regardless so let's move him over there and let's grab the gas bag stuff oh we got two of those alright that should be everything we need for this Wait, what? Is it made of the smithy? Oh, we just make it in our inventory. Interesting. Guess we can kind of make that thing on the go then, huh? Say, well, let's make two since we have all the stuff. Might as well, right? Go ahead and throw it down on our hotbar. All right, get rid of the rest of this junk. So one thing we need to do before we go is we got to get a GPS coordinates, right? Because the way they work is you put in a GPS coordinates or you put in a location that you want it to go to. And it takes from your map GPS list that you have saved here. I'll show you real quick. 
So we're going to open our GPS, open our map, and we're going to put a pin right here. So we are at, and you want to be pretty specific because it will land exactly where you put in. We're going to do it blue. There's another drop coming down. So here's something I didn't check. Yep, going to be a problem. Maybe we'll do it here on the glass. We'll name it Drop Spot. And we will change that to... Let's do it like a yellowish green color. Awesome. So now we have our base and we have the Drop Spot. So I'm going to head over to where we need to go after I repair my pickaxe because that would be, would be bad to get over there and have it be broken already. Been there, done that, had to come all the way back earlier. This is one of the worst places on this planet. I call it Death Mountain because it is full of death. But there's oil up here, there's tons of metal as you can see, and then there is some obsidian. So let's see if we can squeeze up here. That's the oil, oil rocks right there. But this is what we're looking for right here. Gotta watch out because there's corrupted wyverns and everything else up in that way. So yeah, see so you get obsidian, you get flint, you get silicate. And I think that's used as... I don't remember. I don't remember what that's for. But the main thing we want is the, the obsidian out of this. So we're going to farm up quite a bit here and keep an eye on stuff over there. And then whenever I get enough filled, I think it holds 5,000 in the crate. 5,000 pounds. So when I get a weight limit that's somewhat close to that, we'll uh, throw it out and see if we can't get it to go back to base. Alright, I think we're just about ready to send it off. I know we're not at... 5,000, but you gotta remember the Argentavis is getting a weight reduction, so these are actually more than that. And I don't want to have that balloon too weighed down. And we are getting kind of where we're starting to go into here, and like I said, this is a bad area. We'll take a quick dip in real quick, and I'll show you. Yeah, see all that corrupted stuff over there? <laughs> it's not good at all, man. There's uh, Carnos, there's Rexes, there's Wyverns, and Gigas. So let's go over here somewhat towards a safe area, and we'll set this balloon off. But yeah, man, these rocks, I don't know, they're weird. They kind of give you everything you need for making uh, polymer because you get the stone and flint for making your cementing paste and spark powder and all that good stuff. And then you get the the obsidian. So it's not too bad, man. It's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Just got to be careful going in there. It's pretty neat. We'll take a trip through there soon well, on the wrecks, of course, and uh, explore it a little bit, see if they added some stuff into it. All right, this should be a pretty decent area here. That kind of looks weird there, that uh, orange and black rock. All right, so one delivery crate. So we will set it right here. Of course, make sure nothing's above you. Yeah, so 5,000 is the weight. So we're gonna pretty much just empty everything we have in him and throw it in there. Oh, it has a stack limit. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll throw all this back on the bird. We'll just put the important stuff into it. Nice. So what we're going to do is uh, deploy the balloon. Oh, we've got to set the target location. That's right. So in here, in your menu, locations... And see, it has drop spot that we listed and base. So it takes it off your map. So you definitely need to put a pin there. So we're going to do the drop spot. And then... Where's it at? Deploy balloon. So it's inflating. And there it goes. So it goes almost up to the top of the map. 
which is a good thing because then it doesn't get stuck on stuff. Usually, it doesn't get stuck. Um, I'm not sure if they change the mechanics, but back in the day, I had one. I thought it just got lost in the middle of nowhere, and it actually got stuck on one of the buildings going into the city. And I'm not sure if they can get taken out in PvP or not. But anyways, I'm going to follow it just to make sure it gets there. And then we'll uh, we'll see how close it lands to our uh, our location that we picked. Well, it looks like the balloon has made it. Almost. Almost. It has been a long flight. That balloon has gone up and down around terrain so much. Holy crap, I thought it was going to smack into a mountain a couple times. Let's see if it can land around that is the only thing I'm worried about. Kind of a <laughs> kind of a bad spot for my base. Well, I mean, not really. I don't expect to be using these delivery balloons too much. We might have to set up a landing platform maybe over there. Oh wait, is that a is that a drop? Dude, that drops close. Here it comes, man. It's on its final descent. Looks like it's got plenty of clearance. So the thing is with these two, whenever they drop down, it's gonna bust into a bag. And the good thing is, you got a two hour limit to pick stuff up, so it's not the normal 30 minutes or whatever it is, usually. Only bad part is, anybody can take it. So if you're doing PvP, oh man. Better have a safe spot you're landing in. Oh dude, that is so off. That is nowhere near where we sit. Well, now it's in the water. Well, it's not very precise. But it did make it. Should have all of our stuff in it. Yep. Three hours. Oh man. I thought it was only two hours. You got three hours on that. Grab all my obsidian out of here before something comes. And uh... But there we go, man. Nothing like some delivery service. We'll have to tame one of those gas bags soon. Like I said, they're kind of like the extinction version of a Quetzal. They can hold a lot of weight. And you do go airborne. We really need to be able to build a glider suit before we get on that thing because, oh man, does it come down hard sometimes. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.